This is 15-year-old Chriselle. She's getting ready to complete her first hurdles race at the high school level. She finishes third, but the cameras stay trained on her because of her last name. Well, that's really conventional from Santoki. Most of his wickets, bold or LBW. Krishmar Santoki, the world T20 cricket star from Jamaica, is her father. He watches her run more often than not and admits to being overwhelmed when seeing her on the track. I just don't want her to get too um, distracted by sports and not following up on her schoolwork. She has to just try and strike a balance. But as I say, yes, I'm proud and um, I wish to see her in the future running for Jamaica. Needless to say, Krishal Santoki's first love was cricket. Since in prep school, at a very young age, um, she seemed to like sports. I don't know if she was more motivated by me playing sports because she grew up watching me playing. She used to do cricket in school and then she transformed to track and field for some reason because um, in, in prep school she was like winning all the race. They end up getting champion girl. At that time my aunt was the only one who came and supported me and she motivated me and encouraged me to I will stop doing what I love. From there, she insists she wants to go to Veer, knowing that Veer is the popular track and field school in Clarendon. Veer Technical High School in Hayes, Clarendon, the nursery of Jamaica's print legends Merle Naughty and Veronica Campbell Brown. Veer Technical was the standard bearers in girls' high school track and field for almost three decades, including in the 80s when they won every single year. Crucial is hoping to be a part of a new era with her new coach, Floyd Cook, now in charge of the Veertech program. He admitted she had an immediate impact on him. I think the name, I have a, a soft spot for her father because I, I thought that, well, I watch him a lot in cricket. I love cricket. So the first time when I came here and I had a training session, and somebody said Santoki. I stopped and I, I stared. She is unique, a nice height for whatever sprinting you want to take her, and she has a very good turnover. Being the daughter of a famous cricketer gets you a lot of attention. Krishal couldn't understand what all the fuss was about. Because my father is just a normal person. He doesn't boast a lot about what he's doing. He's just normal and cool and calm. And the family is everything for Krishal. Their support is what keeps her going. It helps me a lot because they're very supportive. Like if I have a trap meet, they all will come, they all attend the trap meet and they will and they will cheer me on and make me feel good inside and make me feel more confident in what I'm doing. We are making a star here. We're making a star. As to what event that she's going to blossom, I can't say right now. Because she's she's just good at whatever she does. And Coach Cook is testing out that theory of her adaptability. This season, she has been asked to do the sprint hurdles for Veer Tech. I was playing around and I jumped over hurdles and he saw me and he said to me that I should come to hurdles training. I said, okay. And the next day, when I saw the hurdles, I ended up, I was so scared. I was, I was afraid that I was going to fall. I encourage her a lot. Yes, I, I speak to her a lot about um, being the best. In fact, I've made objectives for her. Um, I've put points beside her name and I ask her all the time to sit with daddy and, and ask him about his challenges. Whenever we, we, we feel, because I say we, I mean me and her, because we, we kind of have the same mentality. Whenever we feel, we try to look into it and ask questions and, you know, then pick ourselves back up, up again and or go to training and try and, you know, do better to, to compete the next time. Krishmar, who's had her since he was 18, sees something more in his daughter. She's a very good girl in terms of um, how she carries herself, you know, the, the, her attitude towards, you know, everything. Um, I must say she's a Christian already, so, you know, that makes her more special to me, to know that um, my, my, my eldest daughter is, is, is thinking about a different part that, you know, even me never thought of, even now. So, you know, um, I'm very proud and um, I hope she does continue in that vein. And while she hopes to follow in her father's footsteps, she also hopes her father follows in hers. 
I'd want him to become a Christian so that he won't go in the wrong path. Maybe their journeys will converge after all.